Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Vampire Survivors. It is I, your boy Zoot Suit in the house. Let me just see if I can adjust my camera down just a hair. Once again, it is I, your boy Zoot Suit in the house. And what we're doing tonight, we're going to uh, go ahead Thought I was gonna unlock this character. Oh, I gotta come back over here. Hold on one second, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm gonna have to reload my vampires. I need to delete this outplayed app. It keeps trying to want to record my games, and I'm not. I'm not trying to record my games. All right, so we're gonna unlock Zia Santa real quick. Confirm. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to survive 15 minutes with Z Asanta. That is the goal tonight. Um, I might want to play a map that we haven't tried yet. Il Molas. We also have Green Acres. The Bone Zone. Mount Moonspell and Lake Foscari. Uh, we could try Moongolo. I've never tried Moongolo before. So we're going to start with this healing. Uh, What does this do? Fancy Vizard. Oh, you can buy stuff here. For actual gold, though, 10,000? Ooh. Nah, I don't think so. Ooh, we're gonna get her weapon. doing very much damage with the weapon that she naturally gets uh, let's go ahead and get it to level three I want to get this leveled up as quick as possible you know get as much uh, damage out of it as I can oh you know what we're gonna go ahead and get all these doesn't look like it lets you get, um, or does it let you get items? I'm not for sure. I might have just screwed up, ladies and gentlemen. sure that I'm liking this map in general. How do I pause it? I want to quit. I don't like that map. So we're going to jump in and try a different map. We could go over to one of these new maps. Mount Moonspell. You know what? Let's try it. Hey, what's this Arcana down here? Enables critical hits for listed weapons. Let's do it. I'm down.
the issue is we're not that powerful right off the bat. Uh, let's go with uh, crosses. And let's get garlic for one of our weapons. Garlic. Anytime we can level that garlic. Spinach for more damage. get this we're not even close to getting anything uh, evolved so let's just go ahead and do it let's get another garlic I feel like once you get this vento like really high that it's gonna be a really good weapon but we are going to find out now remember we only have to survive for 15 minutes to get the uh, unlock achievement but however we are going to uh, try to survive a little bit longer do we get a hollow heart on this map we do not so I think I want to go ahead and take that as one of my items Clover though to evolve the cross. We also need the Pumarola to evolve uh, the garlic. Spinach. We're gonna keep going on the spinach trail here. XP as I can right now so that way we can uh, unlock stuff. What's this down here? This is our first little farm looking area. You can go in these houses.
nothing in this house, however. what we get another vento that'll work baby I'm gonna go towards these uh, other two spinach so that we can gain some more damage. Not sure what that guy is, but he looks extremely evil. garlic if I keep going up I do see some kind of a sword that I can get Character unlocked. Let's go. This is rough. This was the wrong stage to play, dudes. Super tough. We didn't even last 15 minutes. All right, let's quit playing around. Let's get this achievement. Um, let's 
try Gala Tower, you know what I'm saying? I want to put Slash back on. Oh yeah, this is definitely going to be easier for us. You know what? Let's go Gallo and Whip. Both. Mm. Sand to water. Hollow Heart. Hopefully there's not one on the map already. And we just wasted our one of our things you never want to get anything item wise if it's on the map that's one thing you want to keep in mind let's go with our uh, base weapon King's Bibles. Go with that Vento. Ah, uh, garlic, you know what I'm saying? I feel like in general on that Mount Moon spell, the enemies were just tougher in general. You know, like it was telling me this is a high level map, bro. You don't have the right characters. You shouldn't be here. That's the vibe that I got from how tough those creatures were to kill. in the vento I do want to see what a maxed out vento does uh, damage wise uh, let's go with uh, Santa water King's Bible. not doing too bad here now we're not close to getting anything uh, maxed out so I'm gonna go ahead and get this chest just in case it's a oh it's a pumarola okay I was gonna say just in case it's more of my weapon upgrades we can get more damage flowing here I 
Mento. Mento Scaros. Okay, so we're up in the hundreds damage wise with our uh, base weapon. Uh, garlic. That's the first garlic we've had in a minute, but we gotta get that garlic going. Uh, Santa water. garlic the better because we can kind of max that one out and we'll just be able to stand there and kill a bunch of these mobs and get XP really fast. Yes, a road chicken. Garlic will take it. Mento Scaro. this King's Bible nice I've never seen all these snakes before. But then again, I might have also not made it the, this far on this map before. Uh, whip. No, I've made it this far because I remember that big skull guy. Three chest, yes, sir. Got a 
got a regular whip going for us. Bible. More damage the merrier. Garlic. into water. Go spellbinder. Nice. get this healing healing arcana since we do have the uh, whatchamacallit both whips well they the whip let's say which we're gonna get another level of the whip Santa water Let's take the knife. That'll be our last weapon. We only we only need three more minutes to get our achievement, ladies and gentlemen. However, I would like to try to get a tier 5 weapon and see if we can last that full 30 minutes on this map. Skullomaniac. Increase enemy speed health, 
Oh, that just gives you, uh, like a curse. Nah, we don't want that. <clears throat> that throws curse onto you is what it does. Let's see what we get here. King's Bible Evolved, baby. That will work, ladies and gentlemen. We now have Evolved King's Bible. Time to mow the yard, baby. There we go. Our uh, garlic is coming up next, ladies and gentlemen. We are mowing the lawn, baby. Oh, yeah. Take out the yard trash. Oh, we had the Evo for the knives there that we could have picked up. Dang, that sucks. More knives. Spellbinder. Let's get spinach. Santa water. We are going to get this because I feel like garlic's going to be in there. No, nope, it's the whip. It was the whip, ladies and gentlemen. That's still beast mode, though. We're going to get more Santa waters. Duplicator. Don't mind if I do. Santa water. Oh, shoot. We got a skip. We do have two skips. Bracer, Evo's the knife. We gotta go get that bracer, ladies and gentlemen. Or do we just get it here and not worry about it? That's a good plan, too. Duplicator. Uh, knife. Garlic evolved, yes. Now we're just straight beast. If 
we can get evolved knives, we're gonna be like so beast mode up in here. again and these worms are a little bit tough to kill here They're still TKO in their ass though. I'm taking out this big dude down here with his shield on. There we go. What's it gonna be? What is this? Union of Vento Scaro. Oh! We, we united both whips together. Oh my gosh, this is beast mode, ladies and gentlemen. You know what? Let's get Song of Mana for our last weapon. Oh my gosh, this is beast mode. Oh, we gotta go up there as a coffin. I gotta go get the coffin, ladies and gentlemen, before it gets too tough in here. Now you know, ladies and gentlemen, when you pick Zia Santa as your character, get both whips and you will uh, merge them together to make like a super weapon this is straight beast mode like we're just owning the mobs like they can be We are also, keep in mind, getting the healing from both the, all three weapons. The uh, garlic and both whips are getting us the uh, healing factor from the, uh, what you would call it, uh, arcana. What do we get here? Ah, bracer, spellbinder, and spinach. Hey, we'll take it. Spinach is more damage. I'm not ashamed of that at all. More damage the merrier. We're already doing numbers in the uh, 300 range. Now there's one character you can unlock that's like a wizard that shoots these uh, like lightning bolts out of them. And when you get that thing maxed out, she does like a thousand damage a pop. I was watching my boy uh, Never Nathaniel. Japan, Tokyo, somewhere over in Japan right now, and he uh, he played this the other night, the new uh, update with uh, that character, and it started out looking like the character was trash at a low level, but as soon as he maxed it out, I was like, oh my gosh, this is like straight own sauce, like he is overpowered to the max. 
The real definition of mowing the lawn is using that character. Alright, we are currently trying to make our way up to wherever this coffin is. I'm curious if I already got this or if there's going to be an actual unlock. Are we almost there? Ah, uh, yes we are. Ooh, I passed up an arcana back there. I'm mowing the lawn, baby. I didn't see a drop. I should have seen it. It's a big purple arrow. Wait, how do we get to this thing? Wait, it looks like it's out there in a void or something. Do I have to go through this fireplace? Let's see. Let me find out. No? How the heck do I get out there? Maybe I have to keep going up and then there's like some kind of passageway or something. We'll try it out and see what happens. Let's just keep going up. Knives evolved, heck yeah. like a level up to the max ladies and gentlemen we keep going up and up and up I don't even know where this is taking us to be honest We're gonna be able to kill the Reaper with these weapons. I mean, we're owning everything else. We're just gonna say always big bag and coin just so that we don't have to click any buttons. I'm gonna have to come back here in the future and try to get that uh, coffin now. Ooh, we're fighting a huge crab, ladies and gentlemen.
very interesting indeed. That was a cool little boss there. Huge crab. Man, whoever created this game was very, very creative with what they did. To date, this is the best, uh, like, survival type game that they've created. Halls of Torment looks pretty cool too. My man Nathaniel's been playing that game, but he says it's a little bit tougher than Vampire Survivors. camera is a little bit better quality tonight I do have it uh, I changed the setting to actually get a 4000 resolution to get true 4k out of it um, this is a 4k camera that I'm using it's the Logitech Brio if anybody is interested I'm trying to save up some money and upgrade to the uh, Sony uh, a7 that everybody uses most uh, quality streamers that have crystal clear picture images on their streams are using the Sony a7 uh, digital SLR camera I found that out um, I actually found that out from one of the guys that I watch uh, Maximilli I watch him stream his gaming uh, his games and somebody asked him you know what kind of camera do you have and he told him on the stream you know it's a Sony a7 I got to looking at it. Um, you can buy just the body without a lens on Amazon for like four, uh, five, I don't want to say it's 500 bucks for just the body of the camera with no lens. Oh no, this lion creature is owning me. Oh, let me find out real quick. We literally have two minutes until the Reaper comes in. I'm really interested to see what this build does to the Reaper. Not sure that we're going to kill the Reaper, but I'm very interested. I'm also not sure how many revives we have. I know we did get the, uh, no, we don't have Tiragasu. I was going to say, I think we got the Tiragasu, but we did not. So we're not going to have any extra revives. I only have to survive one more minute to find out if we're going to be able to beat this Reaper. I think I want to be in one of these nice big open areas like this. That way I have some room to like run around and dodge him and stuff. If that will even be a thing before he kills me. getting close you can tell we're getting close look at all the mobs coming at me now when 30 hits even all these mobs are just gonna vanish and the, the reapers gonna just come at me that's how this game works look we're devouring all this stuff A lot of red gems. Get ready, here it comes. Nah, he killed us like on the spot. On the spot kill, baby. Couldn't even survive. Now nah, we got uh, roughly 10,000 coins. Defeat a total of... Uh, survive 15 minutes. Of course, we got that achievement. Uh, unite Vento Sacro and Bloody Tears. Defeat a total of 3,000 Dragon Shrimps. And unlock who?
Unlock O oh, Soul. Oh. So wait, we got a new uh, character? We did, ladies and gentlemen. We got a dog character. He looks like he throws out flowers. We're going to have to try him in our next video. So that's going to do it for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. It is your boy Zoot Suit, and I'm going to say peace out, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy y'all's evening.